Hey guys, so as you can see, I have box braids. So if you would like to see how I went through the struggles of trying to do this, I like it. It's not all that neat and everything, but it is really, really, really hard trying to braid your own hair. And I did the rubber band method, as you'll see in the video, to make it much easier for me because trying to grip my hair especially like in the back and everywhere it was just it was just too much so I had to use the rubber bands um, the little process that I go through braiding it and everything and yeah so stay tuned guys <laughs> I just wanted to see what it would look like um, if I wanted to braid up my whole hair because I'm like getting kind of tired of wearing the wigs and it is like too damn hot outside for freaking wigs right now. So I'm just weighing out my options. I don't know if I'm going to even complete this because I really don't feel like doing it. Like to be honest, I have these two small braids here. I'm just going to pick up some more hair and make it a little bigger because... It just looks too thin and I'm only working with two packs of hair right now and I don't really feel like having to go and get more hair and all that stuff so I'm gonna pick up more hair into bigger braids and see what happens I'm gonna stretch it a little bit because I don't want it to be um, uneven because this braid in the front is a little short I notice so I'm going to stretch it a little bit to give it some length <laughs> busy that I'm going to see I'm going to see what happens okay so that's how the three braids is looking looking like a Lakeisha hey girl hey so here I'm using Murray's edge wax to slick down the baby hairs that I have left out and it didn't hold very long because I am natural so it reverted back after like four hours. So here I'm showing you that I decided to go with that braid at the top because I like the size that it was bigger. And the three braids on the side I ended up taking out and redoing at a bigger size.
this messy type of bun and I just have a few of the braids like swooped on the side and just brung up into the bun so this is how I've been rocking it um something simple quick and easy I don't know what other really styles like to to do with this because this is something new for me the last time I had box braids was when I was in high school and that's a long time from now so um, I definitely had to get used to this but um, yeah this is how she is looking and I'm definitely enjoying these braids like it's like a big 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 break for me I don't have to get up in the morning glue down no wig I just get up and go that's it get up and go okay so this is like the most easiest easiest hairstyle that you can create yourself you can do this yourself if you know how to braid if you don't know how to braid well I don't know but um you can I guess go get it professionally done but if you know how to braid this is so easy and especially using um, the rubber band method you just put the rubber bands on and just attach that hair on and just keep on braiding that's all you got to do yeah I'm just enjoying this uh, braids it's something definitely definitely different for me because I am not used to um, you know braids I'm used to my legs and I don't know I just kind of feel kind of slightly naked because I don't have my wig on so, right so I definitely had to get some better edge control because that Murray's edge control is not working for me at all it's I just put it on and it lets, lets my hair grow back up so that's one thing that I have to um, see if I could get if y'all know of any good edge control or anything that could help slip down my edges a little better please comment down below that will work better and have my edges slayed okay slayed to the top but yeah guys thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video